Hi guys, my name is Kanoi La'a. I'm 27 years old. Um, I am a person who does not believe in bullying. And this is my story of me, of many stories of being bullied, but I have one in particular that I'm very proud of. Um, when I was in high school, I mean, when I was in elementary, when I was in intermediate school, um, I went to a school that was specialized in people who are living disabilities. Uh, I actually have a disability called dyslexia, uh, attention deficit disorder, and audio uh, processing disorder, where I can hear stuff really well, I can read stuff really well, I can uh, speak very well, but when it comes out to writing or spelling, I have a problem of, of that of my own. And the school that I went to, I was teased relentlessly. The one thing that I was teased a lot was because I was overweight and I was an emotional wreck at that time. Um, when I was going to that school though, it was really interesting to see how much pressure I could get. Um, this kid at the school used to call me uh, a really annoying name. He used to call me Pig, uh, Pig Face, Four, Godzilla, uh, It, you name, he named me everything in the book. Um, and the one thing that kind of I took away from it was that it was really hard and I was the only girl in my English class this kid was in my English class and finally um one thing that it led to was I didn't know who to turn to I couldn't talk to the counselor but the counselor was really big friends with with the kids that were teaching me because they were on the football team um so about the week before we went on I think spring break or summer break couldn't remember one or the other um I got with all the girls in my school all seven of us the girls that are in my school. My school is extremely small. Um, and I basically said, hey, this is my situation. Don't know what to do. And we actually got someone from, one of the girls in my school was in the like advanced class who did all like the recording with part of the AV club. And she ended up getting me a recorder. I put it in my shirt. Um, and for the first hour of that week before we had spring break, um, I walked by and I recorded him 12 times calling me and the irracial name, ugly, pig, disgusting, dumb, piece of crap, you know. And after the first hour, I thought I got enough evidence of him, you know, teasing me. And uh, the rest of the day, I got all the girls, every single time that they would see this kid who was teasing me, instead of him saying, hey, what's up to them, they would say, hey, what's up, ugly boy? What's up, ugly boy? How you doing, ugly bastard? Calling him all these names because they wanted him to feel how I felt. Um, it sucked. You know, being bullied was great. It was sucked. And instead of us getting called to the counselor's office that we usually do, we got called to the I got I, of all people that was getting teased, because I didn't say anything, got called to the headmaster's office. At the end of the headmaster's office, there was... Every boy who was friends with the boy on the football team, the one that partake in teasing me, um, they were there at the office. And uh, basically, the headmaster was asking me, you know, Ms. Laa, we seem to have a problem with you being bullied and being teased. And I was like, yeah, that's right. It's me being the victim. And they were, the boys were like, you're, you know, explaining what was going on. And finally, what happened was I pulled the recorder out of my shirt. I laid it on the table, and for the first hour, they heard insult after insult after insult and after insult. And I stopped the tape. I looked at my headmaster, and I said, you know, this whole entire year, I have been teased about being overweight. I've been teased about who I am, being Hawaiian, being plus size, being, you know, in a family that can't afford a lot. And for finally once in my life, this is the first time I've been called to the principal's office after all this time. And... They're supposed to be the victim this whole entire time, apparently, is what the counselor said. So tell me why all of a sudden that these boys are getting in trouble and feeling hurt. Why did that not happen when I was having that situation? Um, that same week that that had happened, the kid that was teasing me relentlessly got expelled from school. The counselor that I was dealing with at that time was on temporary leave. And this, the year that I came back from eighth grade, she was back when she, I guess, has up a new course. But the whole time of the story is that sometimes when you stand up to bullies, it's not always downfall. Um, I am one person to believe that, you know, bullying shouldn't be happening, but throwing a fist, throwing a punch, throwing something, 
isn't the right way. Throwing your mind away to buckle the situation is a better one. Um, but this is my story about why I don't stand for being bullied.